If you drove on Interstate 64 this President's Day, you may have seen it, a field full of gigantic President's heads. And they came from the President's Park that was by Bush Gardens before it closed six years ago. Our Melissa Hippolyte tells us about the efforts to get these aging heads a permanent home. They just need a home. From a distance, they're hard to make out. But take a few steps closer. Here's William Howard Taft. That's John Adams, Mr. Reagan over there. And there's no mistaking the 43 heads that sit on this farm outside of Williamsburg. They're made of an internal structure of welded steel. A Texas architect built the bus for President's Park near Water Country, USA. It was a celebration of the president. But they didn't draw enough visitors, so the park closed in 2010. The man tasked with disposing of the bus, Howard Hankins, took pity on them and ended up bringing them here to his farm. Scott Paul, Hankins' co-worker, showed us the heads. Ulysses Grant, Lyndon Johnson. The heads are arranged in no particular order. So right here, you've got George Bush Sr. standing right next to John Adams. It's fun to imagine what John Adams might say to George Bush Sr. today about this year's presidential election. Kind of a neat juxtaposition. During the moving process, many of the busts sustained damage. If you see President Lincoln, you see he's gotten little damage exactly where he got a little damage on April 15, 1865. Yet Paul says the presidents retain their magnificence and deserve to live in a place that showcases their splendor. Hopefully this being President's Day, we'll be able to do something neat with them in the near future. Now to that point, a group called the Williamsburg Presidential Museum Project is currently raising money for a new presidential museum and park. To learn more about that venture, visit my story on our WTVR app. Working for you, I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6.